So in today's video guys, I'll be showing you how internet cafe looks like here in Japan. Let's go! One thing that you shouldn't miss when you visit Japan are internet cafes, or they call it manga cafes. One net cafe that is really popular here in Sendai is the media cafe Popeye. In this case, you're the one who's going to decide how long you want it to stay and what kind of booth you want it to have. In this internet cafe, you can actually choose your time, it depends on you. They do have some daytime, nighttime, weekends, and weekdays, but it depends on the price. So here's the list of the cost. Alright guys, so we are here inside an internet cafe here in Japan and I'm actually here in Sendai. So I actually rented 30 minutes here inside the internet cafe and I just want to show you how it looks like inside the internet cafe. So they do have like monitors here. You can actually choose which kind of booth you prefer. They do have like open booths and closed booths here in order for you to serve the internet. And actually you can rent this for different times. You can actually rent this for let's say 8 hours or 24 hours and you do have some shower areas here as well. What I love about this internet cafe is they do have tons of books. I don't know if they do have English books here. What I know is they do have tons of mangas here and magazines as well. So this is really a good thing for you when you visit Japan. So try to go to an internet cafe shop here. Especially in Tokyo, they do have like manga kisa. You can actually rent that for 24 hours and it's very cheap as well. So this is highly recommendable. They do have some food here as well, like they do have this menu. They do serve some pizzas, pastas, even desserts here. So let's take a tour inside the internet cafe. This is how my booth looks like. It's actually not so big from the inside, so let's take a look. So as you can see guys, I don't, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to make my voice louder. <laughs> yeah, but I'm using my flashlight again because it's actually quite dark in here since this is an internet cafe. It is quite unusual or a different kind of cafe. So it's actually quite dark in here, but as you can see, there are tons of books here. See? From there, you can actually see different kinds of books and magazine to here. And let's take a look closer. So they do have some restrooms here yeah, for boys and for girls and books again. So this is all about Japan. So if you're in Japan, you can actually see different kinds of mangas here. Well, I'm not a fan of reading mangas, but this is how it is here in Japan. So let's take a look. What are some of the things that you can actually see inside the internet cafe? Let's go. What I love about this internet cafe is they do have some drink bars. You can see that's a sign of drink bars, so nomimono in Japanese. So there you go. They do have different kinds of products from Pepsi. What else? Like Suntory, I think that's a famous brand in Japan. Some Lipton tea and Suntory white soda as well. So some fruit juice as well. There and ice, of course, some hot coffee over here, and some shakes, frozen melon shakes. Yeah, and they do have some hot menu here. So, as you can see, they do have some hamburgers, takoyaki, what else? Um, hot dogs, and some chickens here, even rice menu. They do have tons of different foods here. So, for a certain price, you can actually buy a good 
set of meal here plus free drinks that is why i love this internet cafe and as you can see they do have the magazines there and some books so guys i'm a bit thirsty right now so i'm gonna try some drinks here let's see if it's really good and it's also free that is why i love this internet cafe Right now, I'm currently drinking a um, melon frozen drink. <laughs> it's like Slurpee from 7 Eleven. So, it's actually good. The flavor is melon. I've tried the other ones, kind of like sour. So, here, my experience for 30 minutes was actually very good, even though I wasn't able to use the PC because it's all in Japanese. And they will actually give you this. So, it says here like um, Wi Fi. So from here, this is the Wi-Fi and the password for the Wi-Fi. And they'll give you a certain time. So for me, I'll end up around 2-ish, 30 minutes, yes. And my booth number is 127, so they will give you this um, receipt. And you need to give this at the counter when you're about to check out. So we do accept your cards, like Visa MasterCard, or I'm not sure if they do accept American Express, but they do accept Visa here and MasterCard and cash as well. Also here, you can actually um, <clears throat> ask for some printing. So one page is 30 yen, so that's A4 size. So it's actually very good. Yeah, so they do have different tons of service here. If you wanted to take a shower too, they do have shower areas here as well. If you want to use the toilet, they do have some toilets here. If you want to read some books, they do have tons of books here. So everything is very convenient in this con um, computer shop or internet shop. And the name of the shop is again Popeyes. So once you visit Sunday, I recommend that you should come here and check this place because this is very unique. Yeah. So. That's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And thank you for joining me on this adventure. And even though it's a short video, I hope you will really enjoy this one. So see you on my next adventure. Bye.